every earthly problem is a chance to lay up treasure in heaven because every earthly problem is the textbook that teaches us who we really are on the inside and shows us how desperately we need Jesus. Like I said, it happens to me every morning. I will confess to you how I wake up 90% of the time. I wake up and my eyes are still closed on my pillow. I can hear my girlfriend in the kitchen running water for coffee and I know that in a few minutes she is going to be coming into my bedroom to get me dressed, do my bowel routines, exercise my legs, give me a bed bath, sit me in my wheelchair, push me to the bathroom, brush my teeth, brush my hair, and I'm lying there thinking, oh God, I am so tired of quadriplegia. Oh, I hurt so bad, oh Jesus. I do not have the resources for this day. I do not have the strength for this day. I cannot do quadriplegia one more day. But I can do all things through you. You who strengthens me. No, I can't do quadriplegia, but I can do you. So Jesus, give me your resources, give me your strength, give me your energy for the day because I have none. I need you desperately. Oh Jesus, please show up. May I borrow your smile. I have none for this girl who's gonna come in my bed bedroom in a moment, but you do. Give me your smile, please. And I will tell you that by 7.35 of the morning, I've got joy, hard fought for, and already sent straight from heaven. And I do believe that that's the Christian way to wake up. That is the biblical way to wake up. That is the only way to wake up. And maybe the really handicapped people are the ones who, when their alarm clock goes off in the morning, they throw back the covers, jump out of bed, take a quick shower, scarf down breakfast, maybe give God a tip of the head of a quiet time for five minutes and they're zooming out the front door on automatic cruise control. Did you know that if you live that way, that God is against you? James chapter four, verse six, God resists the proud. He is against the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Who are the proud? The proud are Christians who think that, well, I accepted Jesus some 20, 25 years back. I pretty much have the lay of the land. I know how to do this Christian thing. So God, I'm gonna go through the day and I promise I won't do anything to stain your reputation or smear your good name, but you know, I, I kinda got it figured out. If you live your Christian life that way, God is against you. But he gives grace to the humble. And who are the humble? Just people like you and me who realize every morning our desperate need of Jesus. Oh, we need Jesus. I tell you, God always seems bigger to those who need him most. I remember when we were delivering wheelchairs in Africa, an African came crawling up to our wheelchair distribution, leaned back on his haunches. He was paralyzed. And so he spread his arms wide and said, oh, Johnny, welcome to our country where God is so much bigger and he's bigger because we need him more.